Part Two, Crimson Flower, Lone Moon, Lady of Deceit. After a narrow victory over the Knights of Saros at Garrig Mach, the Black Eagle Strike Force hopes to secure a route to Ferdiad, the Kingdom Capital. The time has finally come to invade the Kingdom Capital. Or so I declared. In truth, we'll be advancing to a different location. Only you and the rest of the Black Eagle Strike Force can know. Please bear that in mind. Seems you've already anticipated our intentions, Professor. Well done. Before Ferdiad, we must take Aryan Road, which lies near the border between the Empire and the Kingdom. As a city on the boundary of the two territories, it must be taken at once. There are many mages within Aryan Road. We will also face Cornelia, a general of the kingdom. We must also contend with Rodrigue, the head of House Freldarius, as well as his troops. Once we defeat them, Aryan Road will be ours. I hear Cornelia has a suspicious magic weapon at her disposal. We must attack before the enemy can respond with defensive measures. That is why we are preparing an assault before even our allies are aware. Even within our ranks, there is no way to know with certainty that there is not a rat among us who would leak such information. When Aryan Road falls, we'll focus on striking Ferdiad from both the south and the east. The deeper we carve our way into kingdom and church territory, the more favorable our position. As ever, I'm counting on you, my teacher. They won't notice if one person doesn't sing, will they? <laughs> this is no good. Sing from your diaphragm. Law! Get it? Law! I think I got it. Anything to grow stronger. Hello, YouTube. My name is Richard Jason. Welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Last episode. Well, we what did we do last time? Uh, we didn't do much, did we? I forget what we did. Uh, it's been a while, and uh, we. Oh yeah, we fought off the Church of Saros that was on it. That didn't plan on attack us. They did attack us. So anybody wanna get into the master classes? Oh, Dor. Oh yeah, Dorothea can. Yeah, but she her sword is not good enough yet. So she's gonna have to wait a little bit. Petra, can you? No. Mazetha, oh, of course you can't. I still. Let me see what's your success rate it's still 64 really should be higher it's not gonna be do us any good if you can't okay so nobody really can and also i like the fact that the game didn't forget this summer actually gonna celebrate my birthday in game 
We didn't last time. Oh, journal, yeah, this is... Yeah, about the DLC between episodes. So... Let's go without Cloak. I don't know, I haven't seen it. Oh, my Kami. And with coat. Neat. I... Everybody changed their appearance. It's time for me to... Okay, the boots are a little bit much. I just realized that, but hey. Everybody changed their appearance. It's time for me to as well. Uh, let's see. Any side quests? None whatsoever. So given that there's no side quests, I just have to go and do stuff, basically. Wait, I can't do the wrong place. Ooh. It's Petra. I have excitement in my heart for secret tactics. I enjoy attacks that are surprising. Yes, hunting is doing surprise attacks on prey. Surprise attacks are safe with friends. Fewer injuries. True. That is a wonderful thing. I have no liking for the thought of losing anyone. Uh, let's see. Let's get my flying up. Why not? I know why she's the one teaching us, but still. Ooh, item. So with the direct announcing more DLC characters, I'm almost certain that uh, we will be seeing DLC involving Bleeth in Smash Ultimate. They also didn't got, did not give us a number, so... I'm sure it's going to be more than the five we got as of now. I think it's going to be like, I don't know. I really don't know. I don't want to give a number because like, I, I, in my mind, I have already a crazy stupid idea. That if, if possible, they'll be incredible. But I really doubt they would pull it off. Because it's an incredible number of characters that I have mentally, mentally myself. Of the surprise attack. That information could be devastating were the enemy to find out. It moves me to know I've been trusted with it. Edelgard and those within the army, they really do trust me. Initially, I had my own motives for joining the Black Eagle Strike Force. But now, all I want is to support Edelgard. Ah, oh, that's nice. Yeah, give me a little bit of faith. Let's get this. I'll do some gardening. Actually, just harvest. And then do some planting. Okay, and put it that, and we're good. Let's leave. Okay, what else can I do? Other right, than the cooking, let's see. Let's turn to Dorothy. Oh, there is a side quest. Okay, it's probably another one from. I hate when they do this when like a character. They say character. Wait, what? Where is she then? See, that's the thing I was talking about. This is what I hate. Like, she's clearly not here. And... No, they wouldn't do that, would they? No, they wouldn't. The soldier. The question is... Would they do this? And the answer is yes. Randolph died in battle guarding Garrick Mok. We knew each other for wow, more than five years. My chest feels tight. Think about it. There's no end in sight to the fighting. I might be next. Any of us could be. I don't think like that. Together, eh? <laughs> that sounds like one of Sylvain's old pickup lines. <laughs> Yes. Let's get through this war together. Okay. Oh um, man, um, yeah, sure, why not? Nobody's teaching us a lot. Wait a minute, let me see. I do have supports to get through. Holy Jeebus. There's a lot of them. Um... Okay, so that's gonna be between episodes. 
My Kami. There's a lot of them. I didn't think there was going to be that many. Okay, let's go get the side quest. It, yeah, it's at it. Of course it is. Of course it is. And just like that, looking at supports ruined what I wanted to do. I wanted to end the episode off on. Uh... This was a trying month, but we did manage to hold Garrig Mark on a battle with Jesus. Just. The power of Sedith and Flame was certainly a sight to behold. The Archbishop's supporters were strong, but with this victory, we have all but cornered the Church of Serox and its knights. The goddess above shall give way to the darkness that is long dwelled below. <laughs> Give me the quest. Oh, I want I have both. A request for you. I have a request for you. Uh, give me more reason. Can I talk to you? Well done, Professor. Thank you. Okay, the other one is a battle, so we're good. Um, let me come here. Jeebus Christ, the number of fucking hell, dude. I also didn't want to make this episode too short, but I also don't want to make too long because of the thingy. Let's see. People that need the most are these two, so let's just do it. Let's just skip it, because we already seen what they say. Let's see if there's anybody that needs some counseling. There's one person. What are all these knights lovers talking about when they go on and on about chivalry? Maybe I don't get it because I don't care about being a knight. I'm talking about kindness and tolerance. Uh, that, I guess. Okay, I don't know what to tell him then. No. Also, it's funny that nowadays people talk about chivalry being dead, but when a dude tries to be... You know, chivalrous and stuff. It's always because they ha he has alternative motives, which is kind of BS, but still. Uh, let's see. Let's increase these two. Ah, but then, like, the other ones have, like... This one? Let's use this. And then... All set. Should I? 10% experience. This one? I can still do a thousand. All set. Yeah, let's Is go this with this one. one. You're all set. See you again soon. Yeah, see you soon, dude. Uh, okay, where to next? Yeah, Ferdinand, teach me how to ride. I think it's riding or lance that I want here. This video is really short right now. It's like 13 minutes. Like, I don't want to... I could do everything for... The King of Fargus. I am of the opinion that a man seized by such strong feelings is not fit to be king. It is a sad situation, really. No, they cannot. Kingly judgment has to be wholly separate from the emotions of the individual. At any rate, I find it hard to imagine that Dimitri could defeat Edelgard. Uh, give me that lance. And I, before we end off. Okay, so where is, oh, there she is. Let's say, where is Edelgard? This was Ingrid's room, or it is Ingrid's room. This was Marianne's room. See if there's anything for me to collect. Hilda's room. She's in Claude's room, isn't she? Professor, halt! Don't come in here. Why? Uh, I thought I told you to forget about that. There's something I don't want you to see. What? So, you know about it. Yes, it's a portrait of you. I painted it myself. It's a 
quite disgraceful. I did a terrible job with it, and it looks nothing like you. I'm happy that you appreciate my efforts, but please don't touch that door. Okay, and I mean, it's pretty clear she won't go out to pee because of this, so uh, yeah, let me just check if there's something. Oh, this is Hubert's room, so that was probably her room. Hey, oh, who is this room then? Okay, Ferdinand, Casper, uh, this is the nobles' rooms, I guess. Okay, who's this? Okay, they literally have nothing for me. So, um, here's what's going to happen. This will be it probably for me for this episode. And I'll see you guys next time. But this is going to be an episode that ends on a crap ton of um, support conversations. So, wait, where is she? Okay, let's say, did I lose that old guard somewhere? It's going to end right in front of a room. Okay, so I'm going to end here. So, thank you guys for watching. I've been much of the stream again next time. Enjoy the supports. Oh, wrong button. Linhard, I finally found you. These structures were built more than a thousand years ago and still remain. Amazing. Most interesting, there's a pattern to the saint's emblems carved into each of the sarcophagi. Here, you'll see if you come take a look. Perhaps another time. Right now, I have something to discuss with you. You've said before that you don't care about the usefulness of your research. After giving it some thought, I decided that I'd like to create an institution for Crest and Relic research, and I'd like for you to lead it. All you would need to do is carry out whatever research you like. Somebody else will decide how to make use of your findings. What do you think? I imagine such an environment would suit you quite well. <sighs> Let's be clear that I have my reservations, but I suppose I'll take you up on your offer, if you insist. Although I'm unsure if it's a good idea. If my research dries up, you'll be stuck with a worthless institute. I do hope you understand that, Your Majesty. Why are you skeptical about my proposal? It's because all I've ever cared about is following my own curiosity, wherever it takes me. Being head of some institution and researching as part of an organized team? Sounds like no fun at all. At that point, it's not research, it's just a job. And one I've been practically forced into at that. However, since I know you've put a lot of effort into preparing this opportunity for me, and since I like you well enough, I will, begrudgingly, take you up on the offer. Well then, I suppose I should be grateful. But I'll be honest, I see little point in bringing you on board if you're so troubled by the idea. Let's put this idea on hold for the moment. I'll figure something out for you by war's end. I have great respect for your talent, Linhart. I'm certain I can find a way to make use of it that's to your liking. Take a look at this. I received it as a gift. It was sent from... I don't remember. Anyway, the point is... Dorothea, when you receive a gift, don't you think you should try to remember who it's from? You're right. That's a little thoughtless of me. What's gotten into you lately? You seem mostly uninterested in the various suitors throwing themselves at you. Is something on your mind? Oh, don't worry about me. Everything's fine. I'm just not that interested in certain men. Do you have any idea why? Well, I do have an inkling. You seem reluctant to tell me. Is it somehow my fault? No, no, nothing like that. Okay, I suppose you're not completely wrong, but... How do you mean? Please, just say what's on your mind. When the two of us are together, talking like this, somehow I don't feel like I care about my troubles with love anymore. So it's fine. Hmm. 
There's nothing wrong with that, of course. But it seems we should get to the bottom of such a drastic change. Maybe we can figure it out if we just... Katie, I'm telling you, I'm fine. If you push me any further, I'll write an opera about you. I'll do it right here and now. And then I'll sing it in your face. Settle down, Dorothea. I can take a hint. If you insist, I'll drop the subject. Whatever you do, don't write more opera lines about me. My cheeks are probably still red from your last performance. <laughs> well, I can't promise anything. But if I try real hard, by the time the war is over, I might just have an opera written starring you. No need to worry, though, Aidy. I'll be fabulous as you. A performance they'll rave about for years. <sighs> the frightening part is that I don't know whether you're joking or not. But I do regret to inform you that you won't be playing the role of Edelgard. Why is that? Don't you see? No story about me would be complete without the character of Dorothea. It would be ridiculous for you to play me instead of yourself. Aidy, you really are something special, aren't you? <laughs> Lysithia, are you all right? You don't look well. Huh? Oh, no, no. I'm fine. Really. Just not accustomed to so much manual labor. You were cleaning the library all by yourself? Yes. The other student who was assigned to tidy up with me wasn't feeling well. So, it's just me. I figured I could at least dust the bookshelves or something, but... I, uh... I got a little carried away. So many books. You probably tired yourself out just moving them from the shelves. As much as I love books, I can't say I love carrying stacks of them to and fro. They're so heavy. Well, maybe you should think things through a little more next time. Surely you can tell how much physical strength the job is going to require before you begin. I can do without the condescension, thanks. After all, I'm the only one who has to deal with the fact that I've worn myself out. I only said that you should take care of yourself. Especially considering... Considering what? Nothing. Never mind. How about you return to your quarters? I'll finish cleaning up in here. But I want to finish what I've started. I don't mind, really. Please, don't make me repeat myself. Fine. As long as you'll finish all this up. I will. Get some rest, okay? Yes, yes. Thank you. If what I heard about Lysithia is true, hmm, I just don't know how much of it I should believe. <laughs> Professor Manuela, may I come in? This room? What... what happened here? Oh, nothing out of the ordinary. Why? Is something the matter? No, I just... Uh, can I help you tidy up? Uh, actually, I have to know. How did you make such a mess in the first place? Please don't ask for the details. Suffice to say, my room always looks like this after I've been dumped. Oh, right. Well, let's see what we can do about it. Your help was unexpected, but appreciated, Edelgard. Now, what can I do for you? I heard that you haven't been acting like yourself, so I came to see if you're doing all right. But the moment I saw you, I could tell you were troubled, so it seemed pointless to ask. I suppose it was rather obvious, wasn't it? Perhaps I should stop being quite so dramatic. All the same, dear, I'd like to repay you for helping me out. Name your prize. I don't need a reward. But if you wouldn't mind answering my question, I'd greatly appreciate it. Of course. What is it? I once asked you why you chose to retire. You said that the goddess supports you emotionally, but it's up to you to take care of the rest. I have to admit that I don't quite understand what you meant by that. Can you please explain? 
Did I say that? <laughs> I suppose so. From joining the Middle Funk Opera Company to becoming a diva of the grand stage. I went through so much to achieve what I did. <sighs> Looking back, I don't know how I made it. What happened during that time? A lot. My divinely gifted voice only got me to the edge of the stage. From there, I had to work hard to defeat my rivals. I did all of this by myself, through sheer force of will. All so I could stand center stage. Ah, oh, I see I was wrong about something. I thought that being a devout believer implied a certain weakness of spirit, an inability to survive on your own. But you've proven me wrong, Professor Manuela. Hubert, I have a request to give you, if I may be doing that. Hello, Petra. How unusually formal. You are always comparing me against Edelgard. I have been observing you, and you are not often making comparisons like that. So why are you always comparing me? I do not enjoy being compared. Hmm. An astute observation. I should point out that such a comparison only reflects well on you. I am perhaps doing so because you are both royalty. That is not making sense to me. In battle, you and I are the same. Neither of us has a higher rank than General. Edelgard is leading the entire army. But you and I are both leading a part of the army. That should be making us... What is it? Ah, comrades in arms. Comrades in arms, you say? When you are looking at me, you are thinking of me compared to Edelgard. But I want you to be looking at me as only myself. Do you have understanding? I do not want you seeing me as foreign royalty, but as your comrade in arms, who is working with you at your side. Ah, I understand you now. It seems I've done you a great disservice, Petra. Your friendship is important to me. I am sorry that I failed to make that clear. By comparing you to Lady Edelgard, I have treated you merely as one chasing after her shadow. I have done so even while believing that the Empire and Bridget would never go to war again. Do you really think you can stop comparing? I am knowing well that Edelgard takes a big place inside your heart. I do not fully understand it. But when I look at you, I simply cannot help but think of Her Majesty. Your past, full of hardship. Your unwavering determination. Your uncommon excellence. As such, I cannot promise never to compare you. But I will try my best to do so less often. Hmm. For now, that will be okay. But I will not be giving up on this. And I want you knowing that one day, when you are comparing, you will be finding I have won the comparison. <laughs> what an amusing thing to say. Lady Edelgard's face would contort most bitterly were she to hear it. Be marking my words, Hubert. One day, between the two of us, you will be choosing me. Ferdinand. Huh? Ah, Petra. Is there something I can help you with? No, I am not needing help. I was just thinking that you look... lonely. Lonely? In wartime? Hardly. I am too busy trying to survive to feel lonely. But once we have survived, what will you do with yourself, Petra? Return to your home? Edelgard said she would like you to ascend the throne in Bridget, to ensure good relations between the nations. Yes. My plan is to be returning home. But if Bridget and Fodlin can be friendly, I will be able to have visits whenever I choose. Maybe it is even possible for me to be living in Fodlin. Live in Fodlin? Do you not want to go back to your homeland? I do have the hope of returning one day, but Fodlin is also like a homeland to me now. I came to Fodlin nine years ago. I have been living half of my life here. My family is living in Bridget, but in Fodlin, I have new family and new friends. New family? 
I am glad to hear you feel that way about us, Petra. In that case, we will have to make sure that none of us die. We do not want to lose anyone in the family. Yes, we will be winning, and you will not be dying. Ha! <laughs> do not worry. I do not intend to die. I have some things to do when the war is over. Things? Yes. You and I can be the link between Fodlin and Bridget. Oh. Okay, I have to confess. I fibbed a little. About not being lonely. When this war ends, I will be quite lonely indeed. If you go back to Bridget. Is that a truth? I have just made a decision. I will work as an ambassador, improving relations between our people. Whether you are in Bridget or Fodlin, I will be there too. Then both places can move forward together in eternal friendship. We ought to join forces and make that a reality. Do you not agree? You have my gratitude, Ferdinand. All of it. I have loneliness just like you. But your words gave me great happiness. Please do what you are saying, and be a bridge for Fodlin and Bridget. You can count on me. We will keep at it. And one day... Yes, one day, we will be seeing that future. <laughs> Huh? Kaspar? Whatever is he doing here? Oh no. Is he looking for a fight with someone taller than him? The poor boy won't give up. This is it! Today's my day! Kaspar's day! Come get some! Yes, Kaspar, just like that! Just as we practiced! Yes, dodge! Yes! Perfect! Right there! He's open! Punch him right in the... Yes! Kaspar, you did it! <laughs> and that's how it's done! Woo! And then I got him, bam! Right in the solar plexus! <laughs> oh, I really wish you could've... Hey, are you even listening? This is when it starts getting real good. I'm listening. I am sad to say, however, that the tale is slightly less thrilling the fourth time through. You should be more excited! We finally won! We? Yeah, I couldn't have done it without your advice. You're a strategic genius, Linhart. Nonsense. Your strength carried the day. I just rambled on. You're the one who did the actual work. What's really amazing is how you wouldn't give up. Whoa, I've never heard you compliment me before. Yeah, I don't think I like it. <laughs> Seriously, though, I couldn't have done it without you. Like you said, I wouldn't give up on fighting, and I'm not gonna give up on this either. I should have expected that, I suppose. That's just the kind of guy you are, after all. I guess this friendship is something that we can never escape from. Ever. Are you saying you want to escape from our friendship? Not at all. Even if I did, our fates would not be so easily untangled. Ha! <laughs> you got that right. No one can break this bond. Even if we argue and butt heads sometimes, we'll never have to fight it out. And that's a promise. Understood. I don't desire to fight anyone anyway. This war is the last time I'll set foot on a battlefield. Well, that makes sense. Let's you and I come out the other side of this war alive and well, okay? That is a promise worth making. Definitely. And let's win this thing while we're at it. Aha, Lysithia. It's wrong to tease, yet I can hardly help myself. I know a secret. Your secret, in fact. I think you mean a baseless rumor. Why are you wasting your time? And mine, for that matter. Well... It's a secret that could completely overturn what is considered common knowledge in Crest research. Shut your mouth! Just... Let's go talk somewhere other than here. Okay, where did you hear about it? Well, I found something while searching through Professor Hanneman's old room. I should have figured. You haven't told anyone, have you? 
Of course not. If someone else were to learn you have two crests, I might lose you as a test subject. <sighs> Please stop talking so loudly. So what if I have two crests? If you insist on speaking of it, please do so quietly. My intuition was correct. You do have two crests. Wait, what? Did you just trick me? Trick is such a strong word. I think of it as testing a hypothesis. The truth is, I simply made an educated guess. <sighs> well, now that I've confirmed it for you, there's not much I can do. I disagree. For example, you could tell me if you were born with them, or is the source magical? What does it feel like to use both crests at the same time? Is it pleasant, painful, euphoric? Enough is enough! I am done talking about this! As though I'd speak of this to the likes of you. I understand her desire for privacy, but to refuse my request for knowledge? It's... well... It's rude. <laughs>